around this time last year, the end of the spring, the first class to graduate from Soulsville was graduating from college. This long awaited dream that we've all kind of had of having our graduates come back and be a part of this place again, um, suddenly an opportunity. I first met Mr. Best, and at the time, he wasn't Mr. Best, he was Jamil, uh, when I was a new teacher, and he was new to the Soulsville Charter School, so we both kind of came in at the same time. One of the things that he is able to do is to connect to students on a different level because he, he has actually been a student here. I get great respect from the students just because, you know, when they see me, they see themselves, you know, and so naturally, you know, without even thinking about it, they come to me and they resonate with me and they, you know, talk to me about their problems and they ask me questions about life. The young men, you know, they're asking me questions because they're coming into manhood and they're asking me certain questions and it's almost like, I'm like a, although I'm young, it's like a, for a lot of them, I'm almost like a father figure. You know, it's a position that I don't take for granted. I met Mr. Best the first day of eighth grade. Like, you know, he draw a lot of attention with his height and stuff, so I was like, I want to meet him. So I, like, I walked up to Mr. Best, I was like, hello, my name is Tadirius, like, introduced myself. And, like, I asked him, like, what would he, like, be doing? And he was like, he's a PE teacher. Then, like, after that, he was like, where are you supposed to be? Like, for real? fast and I was like I'm on my way to class now like all right get there like but like he wanted me to be on top of what I supposed to be doing I asked him stuff like he gave me honest answers about it and he teach things to help us become like better men in life I still remember the the founding principal uh, Dr. Hill I remember going in to the office and uh, when I sat down, I was just slouching my chair, you know, just talking to him. He was like, okay, so I'm gonna have you to sit up straight with your, uh, with your back straight, you know, fix your posture. I'm like, man, who is this dude? That was the first thing that just struck me with Soulsville. And when I actually got into the school, man, it was just, it was just different. I didn't know then, but you know, that was just a part of his plan to just instill a discipline into, you know, the students. With the social climate that we're in today, I really feel like it's important for students, specifically, you know, students in the surrounding area to have a way to express themselves. One of the really amazing and cool things about this place, the, the Soulsville campus and the Soulsville Charter School, is that although uh, this community has seen hard times lately, there was a time when unprecedented creativity just thrived here. It is very powerful to know that the students who go here graduate from college and come back and contribute. Love and happiness.